Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time we're going to look at the top three video editors in a number of categories. Specifically, I'm going to present the top three editor if you're a beginner, an intermediate user, require professional functionality, or need to edit video on less powerful hardware. To make this review, I've downloaded and tested 11 applications, which were Blender, DaVinci Resolve, Flowblade, HitFilm, Caden Live, Lightworks, Media Composer First, Olive, OpenShot, Shotcut, and VSDC. All of these are totally free, are not time limited, and do not place a watermark on their output. Indeed, I actually also tested CoolCut, VideoPad, and Filmora, all of which offer a free download but require payment to remove a watermark or for continued use. So, to be clear, every editor I'm about to show you is totally free and does not export a watermark. But which of the top four in our selected categories? Starting with the best free editor for beginners, our three contenders are Olive, OpenShot, and Shotcut. All of these are open source applications and are available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Starting with Olive, this is a really intuitive editor that's brilliantly designed and a joy to use. However, it's still very early in its development, with the first builds of version 0.2 just starting to be released. I therefore cannot really recommend Olive as my top pick right now, but I've included it here to highlight a free open source application that's beginner friendly and which looks set to overtake its competition in the near future. Moving on to OpenShot, this is a long established open source editor that's somewhat basic, but it's got a very friendly user interface and it's very easy to use. And indeed, the user can switch between either a simple view like we've got here, or you can go up to the menu and select the advanced view. And this gives you obviously more controls available on the screen. And indeed, for some people, OpenShot may indeed be the best free video editor. However, for others, the functionality may quickly become too limited and occasionally OpenShot can be a little unstable. We're therefore going to move on to Shotcut, which is my recommendation as the top free beginners video editor. Again, this is a well-established open source application with a very intuitive interface that's very clear with all these buttons along the top. And I think it's fair to say that Shotcut offers more functionality than OpenShot. Although to be fair to OpenShot, Shotcut as well as OpenShot also has occasional bugs, occasional instability but I still think that Shotcut is the best free beginners video editor, and indeed my only caution is to be very careful when using the Shotcut website, as it's cluttered with adverts that often contain download buttons that have nothing to do with the free video editor. Next, for those who need more functionality and who can invest more time learning a package, my top three intermediate video editors are Flowblade, Caden Live, Blender, and HitFilm. Here, Flowblade is a Linux only application that's solid and stable and has a good range of functionality. Like many more sophisticated editors, it does take some time to become familiar with its workflow but if you're a Linux user, Flowblade is well worth a test drive. Moving on, Caden Live is a slightly better intermediate editor and is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I'm also going to return to Caden Live in another category in a few minutes time. And so for now, we'll move on to the wildcard in this list, which is Blender. As you may know, Blender is primarily a 3D graphics application but it does include a video editor as we can see here. The package is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and has a wealth of video editing and compositing functionality that's actually very impressive. But the user interface is not as good as other video editors. And so generally, I'd only recommend Blender for video editing if you're using the software in other aspects of your work. And so finally, we come to 
hit film, which by some distance is my recommended top three intermediate video editor. Available for Windows or Mac, the package is a free version of a paid product. We can see the upgrade icon up here, and indeed the free version of HitFilm used to be called HitFilm Express. To download the software, an account must be created, although once everything's been set up, it is possible to work offline. The functionality and the look and feel of HitFilm are absolutely fantastic. It really is a beautiful video editor. However, if we look across to effects, you'll see that some of the effects here are tagged as creator or pro. And what this means is, if you use any of these features in your project here in the free version of the software, then a watermark will be added to your final video. So for example, if we take exposure there and drag it over to that clip, we can see a watermark appears over here. But if I press Ctrl Z to undo that, the watermark goes away. And it's important to stress that whilst some effects do have this creator or pro designation, lots of them don't, and it's perfectly possible to do some very decent video editing here in the free version of HitFilm without using any of the creator or pro effects. However, unfortunately, many reviewers do not seem to understand that, and lots of reviews of the free version of HitFilm tell you that you always get a watermark on your output, which simply isn't true. And to prove it, let's go across to export, I've not used any of the paid or pro features in my test edit, so if we click on start exporting and speed on through, and there we are, the export has finished, so if we click to uh, see our final file, there it is in its folder, and we'll uh, run it like that, and uh, yes, guess what? So many of the people who reviewed HitFilm are simply wrong. The package does not have a watermark on its output by default, it only adds a watermark if you choose to use a feature from a paid version of the application. Next, we come to the best free professional grade editor. Here are contenders, our Lightworks, Media Composer First, and DaVinci Resolve, all of which have been used in film and TV production, and all of which are the free version of a paid application. Each of these packages also has a relatively complex workflow, so the learning curve is pretty steep if you're not already familiar with a professional editor. Starting with Lightworks, this is an excellent multi-platform product, available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Since I last looked at the package, the interface in the free version has been improved and is a pleasure to use. However, the free version of Lightworks is sadly limited to a maximum export resolution of 720p. Moving on, Media Composer First is the free version of Avid Media Composer, which used to be the world's premier video editing application. The program is available for Windows or Mac, and requires an account to be created to download and run the software. However, you do end up with an excellent free professional editor. Inevitably, some limitations are imposed, the most significant of which are a maximum export resolution of 1080p, and edits being constrained to four video and eight audio tracks. However, especially for those wishing to learn Avid, Media Composer First is an excellent free application for editing HD video. This said, my top free professional grade video editor of 2023 is DaVinci Resolve. Currently in version 18, this is the free version of DaVinci Resolve Studio, and provides a beautiful software experience. The package is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and has a maximum export resolution of 3840 by 2160 So, do note that true 4K footage with a resolution of 4096 by 2160 cannot be exported. As we can see, the interface in DaVinci Resolve is divided into seven pages, which start with the media page where we bring in footage, and then next to that we have the cut page, which provides you a view of the entire timeline, so you can go back and forth, you will see the whole timeline on the screen in, in the cut page, and when you've selected your position here, you can go across to the edit page, which is where you do most of your editing. After that, we then have the Fusion page, where you can do all kinds of complicated effects, and then after that, we have the Color page. 
DaVinci Resolve started life as a color correction package, and it's still got some of the best color correction facilities of any video editor. Next along, we then have the Fairlight audio page for doing audio work, and then finally on the end we have the Deliver tab for, guess what, exporting final videos. And if you want to learn more about this amazing free software, just check out my full review. Video editors typically require a powerful processor, a lot of RAM, and a fairly powerful GPU. This makes it hard or impossible to run many of the applications we've looked at so far on older PCs and many laptops. So, what are the free options? Well, in my experience, the best free video editors for less powerful hardware are VSDC and Caden Live. Here, VSDC is a very sophisticated Windows-only video editing and visual effects application. The package has a complex interface that's extremely different to other editors and, as a result, has a very steep learning curve for most new users. This said, if necessary, VSDC will edit HD content on a computer with as little as 2GB of RAM and onboard graphics. However, my recommendation for the top free video editor for less powerful hardware is Caden Live, as we're running here. Available for Windows, Linux, and the remaining Intel-based Macs, this is a sophisticated editor with a very straightforward interface. The program runs well on both high-end and low-end hardware, and can certainly edit HD content on a PC with a dual-core processor, 4GB of RAM, and onboard graphics. For best performance on lower power hardware, go to the menu and go to settings and configure Kane Live and then select proxy clips and tick to enable proxy clips and to generate them for video files. And if we now select OK, this will make this happen for all new projects. Kaden Live is the application I personally use when I need to edit video on my laptop and indeed, a few years ago, I edited an entire 19-minute Explaining Computers video in Caden Live on a 4GB Raspberry Pi 4. So, there we are, my top three video editors, 2023. And my final piece of advice is to be very careful what you're downloading, particularly if you use a search engine. For example, if you go to Google and type in Shotcut, often the first result is a sponsored link called Shotcut, which actually links to Filmora. It's got nothing to do with Shotcut at all. And I've found many other examples of this kind of misrepresentation. So do check your links very carefully, and do note that links to all the packages I've covered in this video are included down in the video description. But now that's it for another video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope to talk to you again very soon.